the road, sheesh, you still gon' get, get caught, don't say shit Have you ever met another nigga like me, I bet you won't say shit Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are all having an amazing day. Hopefully you guys are all staying safe out there as well. Hopefully this will all be over soon and we can get back to our normal lives, especially get back to the gym and get back on our grind. But as you guys can see by the title, today I'm going to be doing a full day of eating. If you guys see my last video, I mentioned that a full day of eating was coming soon and I decided today is the day. So I'm going to bring you guys through and show you guys all my meals. If you guys have watched one of my full days of eating in the past, uh, everything's pretty much the same. Nothing's changed drastically. Um, I do have a couple like new things here and there, but um, me and my coach, whether we're lean bulking or we're prepping or whatever, we don't just drastically switch up the foods, which is something that I recommend you guys uh, don't do as well because um, especially when you're on a meal plan, your body gets used to and adjusts to those food. So if you just completely switch it up and introduce all these new foods it's just going to confuse your body so um that was that's definitely something that i would recommend is just sticking with the same foods yeah you could get sick of them but honestly I really don't care at the end of the day it's just what comes with bodybuilding is the diet and uh the diet's not the greatest it's not the most fun but you have to have that discipline and it's what you got to do right so the main thing is that now because I'm lean bulking because my prep got cancelled, um, I'm eating a lot more food. So still eating a lot of the same food but just more quantity of it. So either way, gonna bring you guys through it. Gonna be smashing a pull workout tonight downstairs in the garage gym as well. Uh, gonna be doing some back and biceps and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just woke up not too long ago. Gonna make my breakfast right now so I'll bring you guys through it. Alright guys, and there we have it. I got my breakfast smoothie, which is 100 grams of strawberries, one whole banana, 60 grams of oats, 240 grams of almond milk, and then a scoop of protein. Currently using this Revolution vanilla cake. Also got um, a bagel with 23 grams of peanut butter. It's supposed to be 25, but I just did 23. Um, and then I also have to take a shot of this apple cider vinegar absolutely disgusting but it's really good for digestion and stuff like that and because i'm eating a lot of food um it's definitely beneficial and just overall good for um gut health so this is all my plan it means i gotta take it i also have some supplements upstairs that i take um, i take fish oils in the morning multivitamin and vitamin c yeah that's my breakfast gonna eat that now bagel is not included in that i personally added that normally i would put the peanut butter inside the shake but today i was feeling nice decided to add a bagel to it so um yeah that's not usually on my meal plan but um it's not a huge deal i used to eat toast for breakfast in the morning as well and my coach knew about it and it wasn't on my meal plan not a huge deal just some extra carbs but uh yeah that's my breakfast gonna eat that now to be honest probably gonna go play some call of duty with my brother because there's literally nothing else to do and then uh, I'll pick the video up once I get to my next meal
All right, guys. So it is time for my next meal. As you guys just seen, cooking up some rice. Once that is done, um, I'll make my meal. But uh, yeah, currently just killing some time, watching Christian's new video on Alpha Land. I actually cannot wait to go visit once that finally opens up. Gonna be insane. Um, obviously, won't be until all this pandemic shit is over with. But super excited to go visit Alpha Land. It's, it's gonna be crazy, man. This guy's actually such an inspiration to me. The things that he's accomplished are just unreal, and yeah, I'm just really excited to go visit it. So I've been keeping up with the series, watching everything unfold and everything. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just gonna wait for this rice to finish cooking. Shouldn't take long, roughly about 10 minutes, and then um, I'm gonna make my meal. So I'll show you guys when we're done. Meal number two going down. So I got 250 grams of jasmine rice, 140 grams of lean ground beef, and then I have some California style mixed vegetables in there. Um, so some carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, everything like that. Typically I have just broccoli, but unfortunately when I went to Walmart the other day, they didn't have any broccoli, so picked that up instead. But yeah, my rice actually just got increased starting today. So it used to be 225 grams with each meal. Now it's been bumped up to 250 grams. So a little bit of an increase in the carbs. Also gonna have one of these uh, digestive enzyme pills with this meal. I typically have one with every second meal just to sort of help with digestion and everything like that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat this meal. I'll probably have one more meal before we train. Um, which will be in roughly about two hours. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'll pick the video up at the next meal All right guys, it is time meal number three going down right now So just like the last meal I have 250 grams of jasmine rice except this time I now have 160 grams of chicken breast instead of beef and then I also added a little bit of hot sauce as well to give it a little bit of extra flavor But uh, yeah, this will be my pre-workout meal I'll eat this, let it digest for roughly about 30 minutes. Um, while I'm doing that, I'll also sip on my pre-workout. And then after that, I'll head downstairs, get ready for the workout, start stretching, foam rolling, everything like that. By the time I actually start training, it'll roughly be about an hour since I've eaten. But yeah, I typically like to eat every two to three hours, give or take. So um, I usually train for around an hour and a half to two hours. So by the time I'm done training, it'll be perfect timing for my post-workout meal. Yeah, it's nothing exciting. Like I said, I eat the same thing every single day. Um, my other two meals are pretty much the exact same, but I'll still show you guys. But yeah, nonetheless, gonna eat this right now. Probably watch a YouTube video. And then, like I said, I give it roughly 30 minutes to digest, and then we'll head downstairs and get started with the workout. All right guys, currently in my garage, gonna be hitting a pole workout like I said earlier. Gonna bring you guys through it, but before I do, I quickly just wanted to talk about motivation real quick. Uh, you guys know how I am. I like keeping it real, being honest with you guys, and over these past couple weeks, I just have not been motivated at all. Uh, to be honest, ever since my show got canceled, I just haven't had anything to, you know, look forward to, anything to keep me accountable, and you know, any something to keep me excited to wake up to in the morning. Um, now. You know, I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish and, you know, I want to achieve my dreams as well as I'm sure you guys do as well. And in order to do that, we have to stay motivated. We have to stay on track, you know. Um, I like making videos for you guys. This is a huge goal of mine. I want to grow my channel um, and, you know, inspire people out there and make this my job. And in order to do that, I have to stay motivated and I have to stay on track. So um, that's definitely one thing that keeps me motivated, keeps me accountable. Um, you know, like, don't get me wrong. I was still staying on top of my workouts and my diet and everything, but I kind of just went into a bit of a slump of motivation. Like I said, I just was not motivated at all. I didn't have that end goal or, you know, that thing to look forward to anymore. Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because it's 100% normal. Not everybody is motivated 24-7. It's physically impossible. We all have those days, but it's what you do to overcome it. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, it's not going to be a steady progress all the way up. You're going to have those bumps in the road. And at the end of the day, what you do to overcome those is ultimately what's going to lead you to the top. So I just wanted to share a couple things with you guys on, you know, how I regain motivation and, you know, how I stay on track. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention was today I took my daughter for like a 30 minute walk, got outside, got some fresh air and just cleared my head and did some thinking and honestly it benefited me a lot. We can't stay cooped up inside all day. I don't know how strict the rules are where you guys live but you know here in Canada we're supposed to stay isolated, it's supposed to stay home, you know social distance just like everywhere else but um, you know, we, we can still go outside. We can still do things, you know, you might not be able to go to the parks and stuff But if you have a dog, you can still take it for a walk, you know If you have a backyard, you can still go out in the backyard and do things and 
just get fresh air you know and not stay cooped up inside all day yeah that's just one thing that i want to share with you guys um definitely get outside and get some fresh air it does help for sure but yeah some of the tips that i have for you know staying motivated or getting that motivation back um is looking back at old pictures so that's one thing that i like to do sometimes because honestly my transformation to me is pretty unbelievable um i look back at pictures before i started lifting and i can't even believe how far i've come and when i see that it motivates the hell out of me it motivates me to keep going and to keep making more progress so um that's definitely one thing i recommend is just looking back at those old pictures and just reminding yourself why you started and how far you've come another thing as well is to set new goals for yourself find a new hobby um find something that's going to make you look forward to waking up in the morning you know like i said i want to pursue the youtube thing and make content for you guys so um that's one thing that's always in the back of my head i'm always thinking how can i make videos and entertain you guys but it's just really hard right now with this whole pandemic going on because everything is closed the gyms aren't open you know i don't do anything i stay cooped up inside all day just like you guys probably do as well so um, it can be hard to make videos there's not really much to film um, that's like one of my goals you know but I, I set other goals for myself just like you guys should as well so find a new hobby you know whether it's a course that you want to study or research that you want to do and learn a topic or maybe you guys want to start a YouTube channel yourself whether it's fitness or not start it now's the best time you have the most free time you're ever gonna have right now um, we're cooped up inside all day so go on your laptop um, if you guys want to start a fitness channel make a transformation video even if you just want to start your channel just do it now start documenting it's the perfect time to do it you know what I mean so set a new goal for yourself find a new hobby and um, give yourself something to look forward to to wake up in the morning another tip as well is I'm not saying compare yourself to others but personally I'm a very competitive person before I got into lifting um, I played a lot of sports in like high school and when I was younger and obviously with that comes competitiveness you want to win so same thing with bodybuilding I want to win my show um, so one thing that I like to do is remind myself um, of my competition you know and I don't want to be a work I want to be the hardest worker I want to win I want to be on top and in order for me to do that I have to stay motivated um, I'm very blessed to have the setup that I do I know a lot of you guys are probably struggling right now with getting your workouts in due to minimal equipment or whatever it is so like I said I'm very blessed to have all this so I need to um, take advantage of it and stay on top of my training the so one thing I like to do is just remind myself of my competitors I don't want to be outworked I want to win my show so I can't let them outwork me and that's another thing that just keeps me motivated all right guys I'm gonna stop talking now gonna get started with the workout I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick because we're all going through some tough times right now I know it's hard to stay motivated but at the end of the day we all have goals and dreams that we want to accomplish and in order to do that we have to keep ourselves accountable and stay on track stay motivated to get one step closer to those goals each day so just want to share those motivation tips with you guys but uh, yeah I'm gonna get started with this back workout now just gonna play some music over it I'll probably hit some poses at the end as well and then um, I'll show you guys my post workout meal so yeah let's do it took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way Reconcile, cause in my heart it's not worthwhile It's a bloody battlefield where some go down, others heal In the end it's all the same, all you can do is play the game
Guys, just finished up the workout, killed some back and biceps, did a little bit of posing at the end as well. Post workout meal currently going down right now. So I have a 185 grams of jasmine rice, 140 grams of lean ground beef, a protein shake, as well as another digestive enzyme pill. Um, so yeah, that's my post workout meal. I'm gonna down this meal and probably just chill for the rest of the night. I do have one more meal, but I'm not gonna film it. It's literally the exact same as meal number three. So 250 grams of jasmine rice, 160 grams of chicken breast with a little bit of hot sauce, exact same meal. So I'm not gonna film it for you guys, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys could leave a like, I would appreciate that a lot. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I, I, I used to feel so